Hey, thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube banner for free. Even if you already have YouTube channel art, I'm going to show you some things you can add to optimize your YouTube banner for more subscribers, more views. You can even grow your email list and your social media following using just your YouTube channel banner. Now your YouTube channel banner, it's one of the first things potential subscribers are going to see when they come to your channel. This is where new visitors get their first impression of you. It's a quick way to tell people who you are, what to expect from your channel, and you can also establish some authority as well. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Now, if you're gonna create your YouTube channel art yourself and you're gonna go the free route, there are two tools that I love. One of them is free, and that's the one we're gonna use today. This one's called Canva. You can go to Canva and create a free account. It's very simple to do. I think it's like $12.99 for the pro version per month. Um, you get a lot of uh, other features and a lot more access to some templates. Um, also art, different things like that. The other tool I like to use is Photoshop. Photoshop allows you to do a ton more, but it requires a pretty substantial investment. Now in this YouTube channel art tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your YouTube banner without using Photoshop, and we're just gonna use Canva. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now the first thing you'll need to know is the channel art size. The best way to find the current dimensions depending on the year is to do a quick Google search, which I'll do here. And you can see you'll find a lot of different templates. The other option is to go straight to Google. I'm gonna leave this link for you in the description. One thing worth noting is that you can't edit your channel icon or art on your cell phone anymore. So you've got to use a, a computer and that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So they've got a quick video that walks you through and they've also got a template. You can even download this template. So that's what we'll do for this uh, demo. Now when looking at the size, it's really important to know what the mobile size is. This is where you wanna put most of the important elements of your YouTube banner because most people are using their cell phones these days. Let's go ahead and jump over to Canva. You can see that on the home page, you've got some selections here. So you can click on YouTube channel art very easily or you can type YouTube channel art here. Since it's already on the home page, I'm gonna go ahead and click YouTube channel art. We can either start with a blank template or we can start with a design. For this purpose, I'm gonna start with a blank template. Now the easiest thing to do, because you see if we start with a blank template, there's nothing on here that shows us how to format this. So we're gonna drag over the art template that we just downloaded directly from Google and YouTube. And we're gonna use this to help us format that new banner. Now you can see this gives us great guidelines as we create our new banner for YouTube. So this is giving us boundaries for television, desktop, tablet, and then of course, to me, the most important area is this mobile area, because that's where you want to have the most important details about your channel. So now let's go ahead and get started creating this new banner. So I'm gonna choose a background color. And I'm gonna make sure that this fits and I've already got my color. To change the color, just click on new color. If you have a color, you can just pop it in there or you can choose from one of the colors that they provide. So I will do that. While I'm working on it, I do give it a little bit of transparency so that I can see those guides in the back. 
and know exactly where everything and all of the items should be. Now, I'm gonna share with you as we go through this, five details that every YouTuber should include in their uh, channel art or banner. One, you wanna have a clean design that can clearly be seen on all devices. That includes your television, desktop, and mobile. Because even though most people are gonna be on their cell phones when they see your channel art, you don't just want to design it just for mobile. You want to keep in mind that some people are using their desktop and even television, and that's becoming more popular. My goal today in redesigning this is to come up with something that's very clean and crisp. So I'm going to also choose a bold type of text. So in choosing the font, I want to make sure it's something that pops out. Um, you can play around with the fonts. I want to make mine all caps. I'm also going to resize this so that again it fits into that mobile area very easily. I can also play with this transparency just to make sure it looks like I want it to look. And then just dial it back down as I play around with this. Okay, for this new redesign, I'm going for something just crisp, clean, and very simple. Um, one of the other things you can do, you can put a photo on there of yourself if you want, if that represents your brand or your business, just make sure it's really clean and clear. You can also use a tagline to really quickly let people know what your channel is about and what type of content they can expect from your channel. Do you have a tagline for your business? Leave me a comment, let me know. So as you can see, I did something very simple here. I'm giving you my logo, letting you know your marketing lady, online marketing strategies for business owners. That simple, that quick. You can also use this area here for call to actions to entice people to subscribe to your channel. If you have maybe a PDF download that you wanna build your email list with, this is a good place to put that. I'll give you an example. I'll drag something over. I got an Instagram hashtag strategy guide. This has over 40 different businesses and I've done the research manually and it's a free download that I offer. I'm gonna look for an element here, an arrow. So I'll use this arrow. I'll change the color of that. Then I'm just gonna put it here so that when people click on this, I'm gonna put a call to action here when we upload this actual banner. Now we may have to move, do a little moving with this just to make sure that it touches the button the way that we want it to. I'm gonna move this back one so that that arrow, I can get that. And that's how you put a simple call to action there. And again, play with that transparency so you can always see what it looks like in real time. So again, in redesigning my banner, I want it to do something just to make it really clean, crisp, and clear. That's it. Let's recap the five important elements. One, you want a clean design so it can clearly be seen on all devices, television, desktop, and mobile. You want your brand name on there or your channel name. You can also use a clear up-close photo if that represents your brand as well. Use a tagline, let people know who you are, um, what they can expect from your channel. Also use a call to action. That's great for attracting new subscribers, social media followers, on other social networks. You can also increase website traffic. And as you can see with the call to action I have here, this is to try to increase my email list. Now a bonus tip, don't just set it and forget it with your YouTube channel art. 
Get in the habit of updating this banner at least on a quarterly basis. There's nothing, um, you don't have to stick with this. You can change it. You can even do this on other social media networks as well. I often recommend that. Another uh, bonus tip I have, take a look at what some other people are doing in the industry for inspiration. Don't copy it, just be inspired. And don't be afraid to test out new things like new colors, new call to actions, new fonts, different things like that. I am going to download this and I'm gonna upload it to my demo account and I'm gonna show you a couple of other things we can do to optimize this banner. So I'm on my demo account before I upload it to my actual account. So I'm gonna show you guys and hopefully you guys can help me choose between going with a very simple approach or do you like the banner that I have now? Let's go ahead and upload this. To get here, just click on the edit channel art. We're gonna drag the new artwork that we just created or that I just created. Take a look, make sure that it looks great on desktop, television, and mobile. That's the more essential part, as I mentioned. I'm gonna hit select. And you can see it's saved and it's crisp and clean, just like I wanted it to be. I've also got that call to action there, love it. So now I'm gonna click this edit icon again and I'm gonna add links. So I'm gonna start adding a couple of links on here. The first one that I will add will be the hashtag strategy guide. I'm gonna type in the title, pop in the URL, and I'll hit done because I wanna see if this arrow lines up. Now as I add a few more links in here, that should line up better, but I, it, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment. I can already see that. So that's the purpose of being able to um, upload this information, add my links, and then I'll reformat that download. So let's hit edit links. Now again, we wanna be able to add some call to actions here. So we're gonna to try to build some um, social media followers and also some subscribers. So let's add a subscribe button. I'm also gonna add Instagram. And I'm gonna add Facebook. These are my most important. Click done. Gonna go back to home on my channel. See how this lines up. And it'll have a thing here where you can hit overlay the first ch uh, two channels. You can overlay up to five. I'm gonna hit four here so it'll show all four. There we go. So I just have a minor adjustment I'm gonna do on this arrow. So let's go back to Canva. Now I actually went back and cleaned this up again. I just wanted the arrow to line up a little better and I actually made it red instead. So let me know in the comments, do you like the old banner? I'll bring that up, that's here. Or do you like the new banner? I think I'm kind of feeling the new banner. There you have it. This is how to make a YouTube banner for absolutely free without using Photoshop. You can also see we've added call to action. So this is gonna help us build our email list, grow our subscribers, and also it can even grow your social media platforms as well. If this video helped, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and drop me a comment. Let me know if you like the new banner or the old banner better. Thanks for watching. I'm your marketing lady, and I'll see you next time.